Hi guys. It is just an unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day here in paradise. We are in western New York. I'm coming in to uh, <coughs> Sister Sandy's place to help her with her firewood on this spectacularly gorgeous. It is Tuesday, October 19th. 2021 and I am thinking about uh, about failing brains uh, just about all the ways that our brains can go wrong uh, you know I just did this uh, I, I, I was just telling this story about my 50th birthday that you can find on another video and in that and this is not the first time this has happened this, this happened to me the last time uh, I was at this very spot in my brain trying to remember the name of a movie and it's not just the name of the movie it is the word itself and uh, so what this movie was uh, it came out I don't know the early 2000s I'm thinking it came out around 2006 or so and uh, I am 99% sure the director was Ridley Scott I am 99% sure the at least the female lead was Sigourney Weaver. Not sure who the male lead was. And anyway, it was a one word title. The movie, it was either one or two words. Okay, it might have had the word the preceding the main word of the title so that makes the main word of the title a noun it is a noun and it begins with the letter a may or may not have the word the before it and Ridley Scott directed Sigourney Weaver somewhere around I'm guessing to the early 2000s it might have been a little older than that so anyway, this word, and, and again, I have been at this very place before when I was trying to remember this movie. Last time I was trying to remember this movie. So what this fucking word is, I never understood why they named the movie, why they called the movie what they did. What it is is okay like the little symbol or the little emblem that marks your YouTube channel. Okay, like here at Humpty Dumpty Tribe, I have a picture of Sancho Panza wearing a crown imitating the royal corgis. Uh, you know, my little insignia. It is, it is the word beginning with A, I'm pretty sure it has two or three syllables. I am going down every fucking word that begins a fucking A. It's not anagram. It's not anachronism. It's not uh, archon. It is. It's not awakening. Uh, it is, it, and you know, it's just fucking bizarre where these words go. Where do these fucking words go? What is it about this fucking word? You would think after uh, going through this very same thing uh, a year or two ago, the very last time I was trying to remember this identical movie, this identical word, this fucking word, uh, just out of my vocabulary, just fucking disappeared, just flew the fucking coop. 
this fucking word, which I've probably known since I was 10 fucking years old, you know, it's a fucking word. Like any other fucking word out there. I mean, it's not, uh, you know, it's not the most common word in the fucking English language, but it's not that rare of a word. I, I mean, it's a fucking word uh, that I probably use. I don't know how many fucking times I use this fucking word. Uh, like whenever I'm looking at somebody else's uh, you, you know, their little fucking uh, emblem or symbol they use to uh, to represent their uh, their YouTube channel or whatever. It, it, it's kind of like, you know, kind of like a trademark. You, you know, like the fucking uh, golden arches or whatever. It, it's something that represents something else. It, it just, you know, I, I mean, should I be nervous about this? What is it about this fucking word, this particular word, that my brain is just tired of holding in? To like, all right, how about we've been carrying around this fucking word in, in your brain. You only pull out this word, uh, you know, two or three times a year, so... <coughs> You know, we're just going to let this word go to make more room in your fucking brain for some new words. And it, you know, it, this just gives, just this, this, it really must be a, a, an awful feeling uh, when you're, you're going mentally ill, you know, whether it be, uh, like in my case, uh, and Alzheimer's or, you know, when you're, when you're fairly lucid and you think you have a grasp on reality and uh, you can remember words uh, in, in your fucking native tongue uh, and, and you start to slip. Or, or like if you're, you know, if you're going schizophrenic, uh, when, you know, in your, when, in your lucid state of mind, uh, when the gears are not slipping, and, and, and you're right there at that fucking uh, threshold between sanity and insanity. Uh, it, it, it just must be an absolutely terrifying uh, feeling uh, to understand that, that you're fucking losing your mind, uh, whether, it's, whether it's a fucking missing word, you know, they say name recall. I mean, Ridley Scott uh, and Sigourney Weaver were bad enough. Uh, trying to pull those fucking names uh, out of my tangled brain. But, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. I don't have one of these goddamn smartphones. So I can't Google Ridley Scott movie uh, starring Sigourney Weaver. Uh, y y you know, it was about some planet uh, the, the, it was about planet eaters. It was a tale about planet eaters. Uh, how the how these fucking planet eaters were destroying this planet, and I, I don't know. And uh, I guess Sigourney Weaver, maybe she was the one who was saving some fucking planet. Like some goddamn human is going to save any fucking planet. Yeah, send in the humans to save a fucking planet. And uh, w one of the main features of this movie, uh, Sandy will know uh, immediately. As soon as I get to Sandy's, I'm going to have to film this and going, okay, Sandy, I'm going to see how long it takes Sandy to tell me the name of this movie. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, one of the central features of that movie was this giant tree. It was called the Spirit Tree. And what that was uh, was a kapok. I mean, here on here on this planet was called a uh, kapok tree. Uh, 
is one name and uh, I can't remember the other name that begins with the letter C. It's not Saboya, that's onion, but the Spanish name is also, it's either called a Capoc tree or there a Sedalia tree or something like that. But anyway, it's this giant tree uh, that was the sacred tree to this uh, culture on this other planet. And I had the good fortune of uh, being able to spend some time 110 feet up inside uh, you know 11 fucking stories up in uh, this Kipok tree when uh, in 2009 when uh, I was down there in Peru uh, on the banks of the Madre de Dios River, the Mother of God River, and uh, for maybe 10 nights in a row, I got to go up and hang out in the branches of this tree 11 stories above the ground. And uh, anyway, I have. Uh, I have uh, talked all about a lot about that in my book Peruvian Plunge. Uh, so if anyone has any interest in finding out more about my adventures in the Kapok tree, uh, you can go find Peruvian Plunge at pretty sure barnesandnoble.com or uh, or uh, Lulu, L-U-L-U dot -L -U com, Peruvian Plunge by Hambone Little Tail. Oh, let me know what you think, but uh, I'm going to sit here and ruin myself trying to uh, call up this word. I mean, where the fuck did this word go? It's like... What just happened yesterday at the Hambone Hilton? Okay, I have this coffee filter, this special little coffee filter that I use every day. Uh, every single day of my life, I stand in front of the kitchen sink. Okay, I make my cup of coffee to the right side of the kitchen sink. <coughs> then I wash out the coffee filter and then I, you know, in the sink, then I place the clean filter to the left side of the sink. Do this every day of my entire life. And uh, so the day before yesterday, I made my cup of coffee. I washed out the filter. I put the coffee filter where I always put it to the left side of the sink. I went in there to make my coffee yesterday morning and, and the fucking, uh, the, the fucking uh, coffee filter is gone. I mean, it's fucking gone. There is no reason, virtually no way that anybody, human, canine, or feline in, in the Hambone Hilton could have gone in there and and grabbed that fucking coffee filter you know you, you would have to climb up on the counter negotiate your what negotiate your way uh across uh the you know the dish rack uh grab that coffee filter and make it disappear it, it, it is every bit as much a mystery to science as where the fucking word for this movie, uh, beginning with the letter A, was. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're really fucked, guys. Uh, so maybe uh, I will just go... Uh, just go ahead and get Alzheimer's or uh, schizophrenia or whatever and because uh, I've had just about enough of this fucking reality 
anyway enjoy your reality while you still can bye guys